Data is really just a tool, no different from the other vital tools that we have in journalism. Quotes, words, photography. Numbers have been used in journalism since journalism has existed. I think what's different are the technologies that are available to analyze that data and also to then convey that data to readers. We want to receive information fast, quick, and direct to the point. Data journalism will often have all the other tools of journalism in it. But what separates it out, what makes it different, is that you are finding data sources, you are interpreting those data sources, and you are using them to discover stories that you wouldn't have found otherwise. WikiLeaks changed everything about the way that data was regarded in the newsroom. What made me realize the power of this data was when we took all the incidents where at least one person died and put them on a map. Suddenly you see these patterns of roads that were obviously peppered with IEDs, or you can see what happened in Fallujah, all these places where it's impossible for most people to go to report on them. But actually to be able to see, the data can tell this very human story. Before WikiLeaks, I guess people wondered what was the point of having somebody working on data in the newsroom. Nobody ever asked me that afterwards. We show people whole data sets, often millions and millions of rows of data. We design it in a way so that it empowers them to find things that are relevant to themselves and to their communities, um, rather than seeing all this data and feeling small and feeling overwhelmed by it. I have a column called Dear Mona where readers will write in with a specific question that they have. One week we had a question asking what was the most common first and last name combination in America. Lots of pieces have been written on the most common first name, lots of pieces have been written on the most common surname, but putting the two together is actually quite statistically difficult. I think readers walked away with some really interesting piece of information about what the most common name is, but I also think it told a bigger story about immigration, the fact that a lot of the top 20 surnames are Spanish ones talks to how much this country has changed. The reason that data journalism is important is that you can do a much better, more accurate job of describing reality if you use data. And when you describe reality better, you create the possibility that you give people information that allows society to function better and that allows them ultimately to lead better lives. How Much Is a Limworth is an interactive graphic that helps visually explain that the workers' compensation program in different states pay different rates for the loss of different uh, body parts. A developer on my team named Lena Groger visualized it in a way that was very visceral, almost literally. So some of our really early ideas for this were just like simple kind of cartoon. This was more human, proportional, realistic kind of forms. Those were amazingly creepy. We went back to a more cartoonish approach, and this ended up being our final form for the national average. It helps do the work of a story. So a story can say different states have different rates of workers' compensation, but a reader can sit and click all day and kind of compare different limbs in different states and see which states paid you more money for you losing an arm. I think that journalism is evolving to include readers, listeners, viewers in far more hands-on ways. And I think data journalism is a really powerful part of that. It's not a monologue anymore. It's a dialogue. It's a conversation where users and readers have every day a higher voice. We're able to find stories that I don't think we were able to a few years ago thanks to the technology that we have available to us. We're helping reinvent an entire industry helping inform people in ways that they were never informed before. I think it's vastly better to be a journalist now. If you look at the kind of stories we're able to write now, if you look at the kind of writing we're able to do, if you look at the data we have at our disposal, it is so much more interesting. It is so much more varied. We will know that we've done a good job on this when people stop using this term. When data journalism is so constant that it's just journalism, as it always has been and always should be.